teams that did not. They got votes but did not make it. Liberty, UTSA, Memphis, Arizona State, Boise, West Virginia, Iowa State, Duke, Wyoming, TCU, Michigan. Um, Michigan. Michigan State. Oh, excuse okay. me, Michigan State. <laughs> that would be newsworthy. Appalachian State, Troy, Maryland, Minnesota, Army, New Mexico State, Texas Tech, UCLA, Purdue, Utah State, Florida, Air Force, Illinois, um, Jacksonville State. Washington State, USF, Georgia Southern, and Louisiana all got at least one vote and did not make our 40 and 40. Let's unveil our first team. Here we go, Tyler. The big board here brought to you by our friends at MyBookie. In at number 40, the Cougs of Houston. LT just mentioned them at number 40. I will say right off the bat here, I love our voters and stuff. They have this so wrong, nowhere close to a top 40 team. Wow. Oh, wow. wow. I don't know That'll if I agree with that. The Willie Fritz era begins after 23 wins in the last couple of years at Tulane. You've got what can become a dominant, uh, dominant quarterback in Donovan Smith. The problem with Houston, they haven't been able to run the football. Leading rusher last year, Parker Jenkins, 468 total yards. Willie Fritz's teams in six years averaged over 200 yards per game in Tulane. They've had two 1,300 different 1,300 yard rushers over the last couple of years. Focus will be running the football. I think it will take a couple of years for Willie Fritz to turn this around. They were a bad four and eight, two and seven in conference last year. But ironically, I had Houston because I sent you 40 teams at number 40. Oh, how about yeah. that? But you I think this it. is exactly right. Uh, I think that they don't they don't sniff the. T- Top 40, I, they'll barely get bowl eligible if they do. I'd almost go state bet. They don't get seven wins, I, I six. Think, I think six and six is the number. Six and six is the number. 23 games in two years is the nugget on the my bookie screen there for new head coach Willie Fritz. 23 games in the last two years at Tulane. But Brown's about to talk to you about schedule. But I will tell you one thing before Brown talks to you about the overall schedule. You mentioned Donovan Smith. Entire reworked offensive line. A lot of those coming out of the portal. Most of their defense uh, is having to be rebuilt at all uh, as well. Um, and they were four and eight last year. You got a total makeover and a schedule that is um, has a lot of tough road games. Brown, they better get work done before the bye week done away. When you look at the schedule that they play, it opens with UNLV, and then at Oklahoma is where they go next. And that is obviously going to be a very very difficult road game for them. Rice at Cincinnati, Iowa State at TCU. You better win some of those games because once you get past that bye week, Lance, you're at Kansas, you're hosting Utah, you're hosting Kansas State, you got another bye, you're at Arizona, you're hosting Baylor, and you're at BYU. That is a tough finish for you. Yeah, I think they're only going to be favored at least right now on paper in four games. But uh, UNLV and Rice got to win those games. Let's go on and say they lose Oklahoma. They're 2-1. and one. The three games you mentioned at Key. Cincinnati, Iowa State, and at TCU, all swing games. That's all right. right around a pick. You know, if you go two and one there, I think you're in a good spot to get bowl eligible. I'd easily go stake here on them being under six wins. Easily go stake here. I mean, what do you think the Vegas total is? I mean, the problem is that schedule. That's what, that was yeah. why I said I got this wrong. No, I think I think their 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 win total is probably five five and a half. Yeah, um, I think that's what it is. I mean, you know, coming off four and eight. It yeah. was awful last year, but I think he'll coach his butt off to get him to four and eight again. I mean, I put guess, that schedule up one more well, time. I guess the good news is the back half is really brutal, and Willie Fritz should have the team better by then. Yeah, here's the schedule again: UNLV losable game to start is, with, yeah. loss at or, or Oklahoma. I'll give them the win over Rice at Cincinnati. Losable game, give them that one. So they've got three and one best case scenario. Iowa State, I think they lose that one. But if not, 4-1. and one. Lost to TCU. Lost to Kansas. Lost to Utah. Lost to Kansas State. Lost to Arizona. Lose to Baylor. Lose to BYU. Let's just they make don't it win a, again. Let's make it that. a one-game situation. I'll take Houston at a pick against Iowa State right now. Uh, no. <laughs> I gave you that was a chance for a win there. 